Hey, once again, welcome back to Cooking Around, and boy, do I have a surprise for you today. Today is going to be Portuguese style. Portuguese with stewed peas, poached eggs, and it's going to be done with chouriça, or you can call it chouriço. Anyways, it's going to be awesome, so let's get going now. And here is the chorizo Portuguese style. Now I'm going to infuse it with eggs. Now this chorizo here has a lot of flavor, a lot of paprika and garlic. It's absolutely awesome. That's why it's just perfect for this recipe. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to step it up a notch and I'm going to add some Portuguese piti piti. Oh, this is going to be absolutely awesome. And we have a choice of vegetables that we can add to it. So let's get going and show you exactly how to put this together right now. Okay, grab yourself about a pound to a pound and a half of chorizo. And if you really want to, you can use any kind of sausage. And what I want you to do is I want you to cut it about as thin as possible as you see here on the video. Not too large and not too small. And now let's put that on the side. Now to give it that extra flavor, I'm using a top quality Asurian olive oil, about a quarter of a cup. Okay, my pan is set to medium high and now here comes the sausages. Oh, just look at that. That's absolutely awesome. And we're going to move that around on our pan for about three to five minutes, but don't overcook them. We don't want them dried out. Add one medium onion chopped and we're gonna let that go for about two to three minutes. Now this sausage contains garlic, but you know something? I want more garlic. So you can add one to two cloves of garlic with this fancy dancy contraption. Add two bay leaves and I want you to add some fresh ground pepper, but you know, add as much as you want to your taste. Now to give it a good rich taste, let's add three tablespoons of tomato paste. And now at this stage, it's very important that you mix the tomato paste very, very well. And I want you to fry it. So try to bring it down to the bottom. And trust me, this will give an awesome, awesome taste to this dish. Okay, here it comes. Oh boy, one tablespoon of piti piti sauce or any other kind of hot sauce. Add one third cup of white or red wine. Add one third cup of frozen peas or any other kind of peas or any type of beans. And one carrot sliced up just like this. One tomato diced up and I want you to cover it, lower the heat and let this go for about 15 to 20 minutes and I shall be back. Okay, we're back and let's take a look at this. Oh. Does this not ever look good? And the smell, you won't believe how this smell is just driving me crazy right now. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to remove the bay leaves because at this point we don't need them anymore. And now here comes the fun part. I want you to make a little tiny pocket just like that. And I want you to grab one egg and very carefully, and very gently put it in a hole make another little hole, little pocket here on the side, grab another egg and put in there very gently and let's do it until we have three eggs. Okay, we're almost done because I'm getting hungry. So now I want you to cover it once again, make sure the heat is on medium low and I want you to let this go for about 15 minutes or more until you get the eggs exactly the way you want. And I shall be back. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, absolutely awesome. Now, I like these eggs a little on the soft side, so that depends on you. Just look at this. Absolutely awesome. Your whole family is going to love it and your friends. So, all I want to say now is thank you very much for allowing me to show this video. And I hope you enjoy it. So, from Tony and Cooking Around, goodbye now and see you again.